Good afternoon, Gwen. Lovely to Hi, see you. Hi, <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I've been enjoying the energy of the Lionsgate portal and all of the 8-8 eight, eight stuff that's always the archangels for me because that's their number. So, yeah, yeah. And, of course, we've got glorious weather at the moment, so I'm not oh, complaining. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, I was wobbling from, you know, from about midweek last week. I was, I was wobbling a bit, but, again, there was such a release um, um, beginning of the week. It was lovely. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can definitely feel the portal has opened. <laughs> yes. And of course, we're on the ride into the, the full moon uh, yes. the, on Friday. So yes, it's got that, it's been, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've, got, <laughs> we've got that energy surrounding us as well. <laughs> so there's no rest for the wicked. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, <laughs> no whatsoever. So, um, so, of course, we're here for our... Um, uh, uh, tarot readings of the energy that's coming I'm losing my words today <laughs> you're flying high that's what oh, it is you're flying high. anyway <laughs> let me just uh, grab some cards um, that uh, let's have a see what's going on with the energies for the next week or two okay I'm using uh, a lovely pack of cards uh, by a lady called Cheryl Lee Harnish and uh, they're based on fractals um, and mm. I love sacred geometry so I love the fact that they are uh, derived through fractals and it inspired me to to start work on my own set of fractal cards so wow. what I love about them is the way in which she um, puts the cards together uh, and creates the energy in the cards. So I've taken out four cards. I just felt like I needed four today. Okay. Um, the first card is really interesting. Uh, it's number 19. And it's, um, <laughs> in a way, the energy it's giving me is very much, uh, we've got all these lovely yellow and red dots yeah. So we've got higher energy dots, which I take as the yellow, and we've got um, action dots, which I take as the red. And yeah. we've got a sort of twist uh, in the middle um, shape that's kind of golden strands. Uh, and it's in a beautiful circle. So to me, it's really speaking to me of the portal energy. Um, the higher energy that's been coming in that's that's sort of accompanied by this uh, push to take action um, and action, action on the highest vibration. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's important for us uh, for the next couple of weeks to try and work from what is the spirit's way forward, um, what is the path when we go in and, and consider our highest spiritual purpose. Yeah. Not to get lost in the um, maybe muddiness of the other energies that are around. Yeah. Yeah. We've still got quite a lot of yuck, <laughs> to put it bluntly, oh, uh, yeah. energy that's floating around. And what the portal and obviously what the full moon's trying to do is lift us past that. I always enjoy when I see golden or yellow energy, because for me, the solar plexus is a place where spirit and the non-physical beings connect. That's where they can boost us. That's where they nourish our own spirit within by bringing in beautiful energy. So mm -hmm. I would say... Um, another way to look at this card is to look at the relationship to yourself and look at the relationship you have with others. This next couple of weeks, the key is what are my relationships? Uh, how am I uh, being my authentic self in connection with others, in, in relationships with others? And how are they being with me? Um, sometimes we get to a point where we have to review all the relationships and start to address, is it working for me? So the strands that hold us all together, the beautiful connections we have, never really 
um, the higher strands, I should make clear, never really diminish. We are all spirit and we will all remain connected. But we may, on a human level, have to say this is a parting of the ways. OK, so uh, and and uh, I love that it's 19 because that's one is beginnings and nine is endings. Yeah. So very much a phase uh, for the next few weeks of beginnings and endings and letting things go without stress, without worrying. Well, <coughs> sometimes, sometimes we find it hard to let go because we think we won't get the same again, but we always do. Uh, and <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you card 17, which is uh, really amazing. Uh, again, I'm just feeling the blast of energy that's coming from this light energy. There's a very deep green in here and healing energy, a lot of golden energy as well. Um, and for me, this is representing the process of the journey that we're in. Um, one, new beginnings. Seven, a foundation number, a number to tell us that we are coming through changes and that we are getting back to a strong and solid base. Seven is also considered a, a lucky number in many cultures. So there's a good fortune. There's um, a, an unexpected as well in the next uh, couple of weeks. Um, to bring us whatever it is we require and desire. This is all this beautiful gold energy. Uh, and it's tinged with reds again. So again, active energy, um, energy that's bringing things in for us and energy we can use to springboard us forward. So where do I want to go? Right, let's use this energy to get me there. Uh, mm. even if it might be by small steps and the deeper healing that's going on because I'm getting used to the universe providing. It's it's hard for us as human beings. <laughs> yeah, do you, know, do you know what's springing out with me with that card, Annie? Mm. It's as above, so below, so below as above. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like that um, the unity bit as well. Yeah, exactly. And this is the thing when a portal opens, especially like the lions get a multi-dimensional portal what it's showing us is that as above so below as below so above that we, yeah. we work in partnership energetic partnership together and therefore yeah. there's a, a, a whole unity that's achievable yes. if we put our mind to it so I, I love that card when I get that um, mm. This one is brilliant. <laughs> Some people think it's a bit grim, but I actually like it a lot. I don't know if you can. It's camouflaged with your top. It's lovely. <laughs> Let me get it in front of my face. That's it. That's it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> and bring it a bit further forward. Uh, this is card number 33. Uh, I'm trying to get it at the right angle so the light isn't on it. Um, yeah. And for me, it's really an interesting card because. It's like a face coming through uh, mm. with eyes closed. It reminds me of third eye. Right. It also often looks a bit uh, cat-like or lion-like, um, if you can. I was going to say the lion's there, yeah. yeah. Um, of course, three is the number of creativity and three times three is nine. Again, creative endings. Uh, and tripling of our creative power so using our clarity of our third eye and of course I'm wearing the, <laughs> the right top using the clarity of the third eye over the next few weeks and I, I really need to say next three weeks we can really tune into what our direction is and how best that direction goes for us so a time of inspiration a time of uh, seeing clearly through our intuitive senses, getting that gut punch that says this is the right thing to do and really trusting that we can rely on it and make it go forward. The other thing I like about this card is to me, it always reminds me of what it must be like when I'm doing transfiguration mediumship. The faces push themselves through. So I do want to say uh, to people, you can push through steadily, gently, pushing through whatever's going on, just keeping that focus 
seeing clearly, reminding yourself it is something I can do, it is something I want to do, that this is achievable. I get a really peaceful sense from the face I can see in this card. So it's not a stress or a, um, a worry or an anxiety. It is just very calm, very focused and allowing yourself to recognize you are creating what is happening. So yes. if you don't like what's happening, stop creating. Yeah, <laughs> switch your thoughts um, into the positive. We're very good at being critical. Switch, switch your thoughts into being positive. What have you achieved? What can you do? Mm. Praise, 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 praise comes through a lot for me with this particular card. Just allowing yourself to see you're making progress. Yeah. Now the last one is a lovely, <laughs> a very interesting card because I always feel like there's an Egyptian flea feel to this. Um, I'll see if I can get it. Oh, I can see what you mean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like a mask, um, and the number is eighteen. Now, for me, oh. with this particular card, what we're being asked to realise is all this blue. It's about speaking, speaking our truth. Okay. Taking off the mask. Um, I want to encourage people to consider that maybe it's time to be uh, more regal in a generalised sense. Not, not put a crown on and say, I am the queen, but to uh, act from knowing that... Um, nobility as an obligation so we we have obligation to each other if we have got talents and abilities that others can share or can benefit from that take off the mask that stops us seeing those talents and abilities or mm. hiding from those talents and abilities speak about our abilities bring forward that um confident bearing I think that's what regal is for me it's it's a bearing that is so at ease with what and who I am that I can do my work in the world and not and not be anxious and not uh, worry and I can offer whatever it is I can offer and I can speak about it um, I also like uh, that it's very strongly for me has uh, a sense of the Egyptian symbol of the ankh, ankh you know yes. the, the recognition of life I love the one in the 18 because again it's new beginnings and we've got eight which is the archangel number so uh, again nine which is the endings again yeah so again yeah. that sense of um let's take off the mask let's come out from behind the the things that we put in front of ourselves and use this time to really have a sense of purpose and a sense mm -hmm. of connection to what it is that we're here to do um that's what i'm getting um i'm just going to cheat slightly and i'm going to look in the book at what the numbers what cheryl said about the, the numbers of the cards um, uh, the first one is Deeper Look. It's called Deeper Look. The second one is called Empowerment. The third one is called Lion Guide. Goodness <laughs> me. And the fourth one, uh, number 18, is Wisdom Guide. So well, that's, that's it, linked in very nicely, hasn't yeah. it? It does seem to me as if we've got a lovely opportunity riding this wave of portal energy and um, recognising our intuition, really pulling up that intuition to direct ourselves in, in the ways that are going to be good and the best for us. So it'll be mm. interesting to see what you get. <laughs> right, okay, glasses on, here we go. Right. Um, today I am using these beautiful oh, yes. cards. Mm -hmm. These are the Sea and Soul Journey Oracle cards by um, Pippa Best. Um, I haven't had them long, but I do love using them. Mm -hmm. What I like about them, Annie, is um, 
the the backs of the cards are all different as well yeah. and um, the the backs of the car uh, cards I, i'm just going to use the book again as i say i'm just getting used to them so um the, ooh, the where is it there we go um so yeah we've got the different backs we've got um the four themes so the first theme is self-compassion mm -hmm. um the next one is about letting go the next suit is moving forward and the last um suit is gratitude and awe mm -hmm. so again as i as i deal these cards not only do i look at the front of the cards i um look at the backs as well because right. I think it gives a, be a better interpretation of whether it's a message for yourself um, and what you've got to be looking at over the next um, um, day or week, however you work your cards, or whether it's messages for other people um, and, again, um, the world. So let's have a look. Right, I am... Okay. So I'm going to pull four to start with. Actually, no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, so, um, and again, I'm going to look at the, the back of the card so I can relate it to the message. Yes. So um, the back of this card is about letting go. Okay, so that's the back of the card. Oh, that's lovely. And yeah. all the letting go cards have that on the back. Yeah. And the message here is almost echoed so that's the front of the card and this is labeled clear and um so when you look at things that might be influencing you um in the past or in the near past um i think it's about getting a sense of um seeing things the way they've been uh -huh. and do we need to change it's to get that clarity in your head about um what's what's worked for you and what hasn't um i'm also getting because it's very much a c uh, under c um uh card um it's maybe looking at the bottom of things looking right deep down at the bottom of things um to be more clear about why things have manifested <clears throat> why things are are working with you and close people around you in a way that you're not sure is what you want to move forward with okay mm -hmm. so that's very much the clearing um the next um card um is faith and again it's it's um to do with the can you see that sorry i'm uh, it's a bit close it's a bit hard yeah that's better. yeah <laughs> and again this is this is all to do with the letting go it's got the letting go back to it mm -hmm. um so this is about faith so if you look at the here and now and and your faith and um um i think it's about steadying yourself mm -hmm. um not not going in with the fear mm -hmm. steady yourself look at yourself um be a party to what is influencing you um not others but what is influencing you and to to keep that faith and to keep that um what's the word i'm looking for what guys help me um what makes you you okay. okay okay and not allowing other people to tell you any different have faith in yourself mm -hmm. it's a bit like that car that you had about the self-love and believing in yourself mm -hmm. I, you know um there is a, a lovely ship uh, a little sailing boat that's just sailing in a big wide op open sea so okay. yes you might be a, a small fish in the big sea i'm guessing um but you're still um a recognized part of that okay so okay. i'm guessing that um and then we've got the next card which is all about i'm just looking at the four themes again um <laughs> you think i know this by now wouldn't you <laughs> yeah but sometimes we have to work with them don't we gwen you work with so, when you work with so many cards yeah especially when you're having different bags so yeah. this is um this is the back of the card this is the back of the card for um gratitude and awe <coughs> excuse me and the card itself again 
is about accept mm -hmm. and to um, receive openly as it comes in. So be open to receive, mm -hmm. accept advice, accept guidance, um, accept that when they come in, but remembering the card before, mm. uh, to have faith in yourself that what you are accepting is the right thing for you. Mm. Um, and, and if I look at a, a sort of a wider picture, especially with the full moon um, coming up, um, that is quite an emotional full moon as well. So it is about you know um, having faith in yourself, keeping yourself balanced, keeping yourself focused, accept yourself as as a as a wonderful person and again it's it's sort of mid water in the ocean there uh -huh. so we're rising, we've risen above the depths we haven't quite surfaced um but accept that um you i've got i've got you will come up to breathe <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, the next card again is a different back which is good because i'm able to sort of show the the wonderful interpretations of these cards. This has got like a little um, walkway coming across the screen. Yeah. And um, this one is all about moving forward. So, you know, yeah. walking, the plank, walking the plank, let's walk the plank. <laughs> <laughs> and the card we've got is that. So, uh -huh. and it's a powerful card. Right. And saying that you may be as potent as the ocean. So, I think again, that's about, you know, what you receive, mm. what you accept, mm. keeping the faith in yourself because it will be powerful. You mm. will feel empowered, mm. you know, and, um, and, and, you know, when, when I feel when someone feels empowered, their confidence grows. Yeah. Yeah. So the faith in themselves grows, you know, um, they have so much self-belief as well. So, um, yeah. yeah, be as potent as the ocean. And it fits. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's about swimming for your life. either. <laughs> I think it's about jumping off that cliff uh, and, and just enjoying the journey. Flush. <laughs> yes, yes. Enjoy and, the journey. And it sort of fits with taking off the mask as well, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Because yeah. when, when people uh, can do that, mm. they, they do feel so much more, uh, you know, em empowered with um, um, themselves. Uh, right. Interestingly, we've gone back to the letting go card for the final uh, card. Right. OK. Um, and this is um, space. Ah. So we have we are now. The final card is actually surface, the water. If you if you look at what yeah. everything yeah. else has been underneath. Yeah. Um, so we surface the water. This yeah. is the, the space card. And it says, may your heart and your scope expand. Mm. So I think this in itself has had a, a, a real um, journey um, in, in its sequencing. Yeah. Um, see things as the way you are. Get rid of the old if it doesn't serve you. Mm. And... Um, you know, really believe in 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 um, you know what is happening now is happening to you. Have faith um, in in yourself um, that you're going to grow. Accept your um, your wisdom that came out in yours, didn't it? Accept your wisdom that you're being you know. And then we've got the empower that you're being empowered, um, and um, you know, allowing all this to happen for you to expand. And when I look at some of the things that have been happening this week on the news, mm. there's been a lot of um, powerful earth activity with the yeah. volcanoes in Else, yeah. Iceland. Yeah. Um, the, the, the big talk about climate change, mm. what's happening in America about climate change, actually legislating things, mm -hmm. you know. And, and again, I think this, it, you know, if people truly believe in something, mm. you know, and have faith in something, and accept that things are going on, you know, it, it can, you know, and, and more people do something about it. Mm. Um, you, know, the, you know, there's that powerful, you know, ocean wave, you know, everybody sort of move forward with, with power mm. um, to, to make these changes. I do feel that's been a real message this week is seeing how the earth is suffering from mm. climate change but mm. also seeing how we, um, as a small minority, not a collective yet, 
but as a powerful small minority are trying to do something about it yeah and and I, I think for me that I would echo that that intuition is on the rise yes. um, that we we are more and more recognizing you know those gut feelings or that information we don't know how we got the information that we're starting to see a lot more clearly um mm. you know we have to dive it into the murky waters in mm. order to see bring it to the surface and see it because if we can't see it we can't deal with it exactly and, we have to uh, explore the depths to reach the surface yeah, yeah. And, and we're being assisted by all this obviously this beautiful powerful energy that's coming in mm. uh this active higher spiritual calling that's sort of saying come on you know look at things from a from a higher perspective so i i just feel like um it's going to be a really good expansive couple of weeks two to three weeks for mm -hmm. um the the action of change to kind of impact on us so yeah interesting well, think, well, when, you, when you look at what's happening you know even with the um the weather conditions where you know we've had this national health warning or something haven't we yeah. it's been yeah. announced in certain parts of the country and you know um you know government are making us take action you know, they're putting the hose pipe bands in. They're yeah. telling you this is, if you don't work with us, this yeah. is going to impact, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think it's good that, you know, it's being spoken about a lot more now. Yeah. Um, we need to take action on all things. And as you say, I think over the next couple of weeks, again, the weather is going to be glorious over the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, yeah. um, but other people will be aware yeah. of the climate change because it is actually happening you know and they are having to take action about the climate change you know so you know even those that um maybe are not as um forthcoming i still have to come up to uh adhere to some of the things we have to do so but yeah. also it starts to highlight that unless we do more unless we look at things in a radically different way about how we power our homes and everything, unless we do that, we, we ain't gonna get any respite, no. So no let up. Um, and it's so interesting that during COVID when there was no flights and no travel and whatever, the earth had an opportunity to heal herself and yeah. bounce back um, and that in itself is a very clear signal that we have opportunities to change and with this powerful energy we can start to raise that as a as a you know a voice let's take the mask off and and stop saying um you know it isn't happening or it's denying it let's it get reminds me, it reminds me of that card that you just pulled the one with the face yeah. pulling forward oh yeah 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 come forward and be seen and be heard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Listen to the message. We've been telling you this for long enough. <laughs> I think that card, Annie, because you know, obviously I've seen you do transfiguration and it's an amazing opportunity when you can see you doing transfiguration. Um, but it is about those, you know, you know, um, the loved ones coming forward to give messages, you know, yeah. and that's exactly what people on earth need to do to come forward and yeah. speak their, their truth and speak their messages. Definitely. Yes, and um, for those people who, <clears throat> who recognise, I mean, you know, dare I say it, you and I are of an age where it <laughs> probably isn't going to impact on us very much. No, but, but we've we got younger generations who will have to pick up the pieces and, uh, you know, I think there's um, an activism of some sort that's needed from everybody to say, I'm not passing this problem on to my children or my grandchildren. Exactly. We've got to deal with it now. So hopefully this pouring in uh, active energy will help start um, more people on that journey of stepping forward and speaking and looking at um the generations to come i love that the uh native 
American tradition, and in fact, many indigenous traditions are always about the future generations. What are we doing to protect the future generations? Yeah. And that's something that's very, very much not in our consideration a lot of the time. We, we're kind of what's happening tomorrow, but we're not what's happening in 50 years. Well, I think, I think that's, that's, that is very much in our history. I mean, unfortunately, people went to war for the future of the country, yeah. you know, and it shouldn't need a battle mm. for generations to protect the future of the, you know, the, yeah. the generations you know, to come at yeah. all. Yeah. So it sounds like it's going to be an interesting few weeks. <laughs> I think it all sounds very exciting. Yeah, watch yeah. this space. And I'm smiling to myself because as a backdrop, I've chosen the plants. And, you yeah. know, it's like, right, okay. <laughs> what shall I have today? Oh, I'll have the, I'll have the leaves. <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm, I'm feeling a bit guilty that I can't go out and water some of my plants that aren't looking very nice, but I've got to appreciate, we've got to conserve, so. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And I'm just, sure Mother Nature will take care of itself. <laughs> I'm sure. And I just want to mention, I didn't show everybody, this is um, uh, Cheryl Lee Harnish's cards, uh, and it's called Divine Guidance. Um, they are beautiful, they are beautiful. Yeah, they are stunning cards. I've always yeah. liked them, I've had them a long time. Um, she's got three sets and I've got all three and, and they're just beautiful. Yeah. So, thank you very much for talking all things tarot again today. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> I do love, I do love these you know, get-togethers we have. You know, because yeah. I think I think the messages that we can give other people who watch, um, you know, if, if we if we if we resonate with one person, we've done we've done something good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, here's to an interesting few weeks. Yes, I'll catch up with you soon. Okay. See you, Annie. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.